Hi friends, my name is Rain, and this is just a quick video to talk about how to kind of play VFA. What I mean by kind of play is, is that you can adventure through the world, see mounts, pets, new models and stuff like that. But there is no NPCs, quest bond, and you cannot use spells. This is because it's a sandbox version of the VFA beta. I hope this video helps, and let's get straight into it. Okay, so here's what you do. First, you actually need the World of Warcraft beta client. To get it, there is a little trick you can do. So first, go to your um, program times 86 folder, and make a folder called World of Warcraft beta. Once we've made this, we simply just need to go to this URL here, put it into your search bar, and then just download the, um, the files it gives you. So the files will come in a zip format. We open it up, copy everything inside of it, and put them into the World of Warcraft beta folder we just made. Once you've done this, you want to find where your battle Blizzard app, that's it. Blizzard app folder is. And then once you've done that, um, obviously mine is located here in Windows C program files times 86. Then Blizzard app. I assume most of your guys will be too. Once you've done that, you will then copy the address. And then you'll open up the command prompt. Once the command prompt is open, you'll simply type cd space and then the thing you just copied. It'll then create like an extra line and then what you want to do is you want to copy this code here. Obviously I have all this in the description and then you'll just do this. You just copy and paste it in. You then press enter. It'll open up your battle net and what will happen for you guys, I already have it installed you see, it will say can I install this game or item or something like that at this time, it will just pop up in the middle of the screen. Even though it says that, if you were to go to your settings and then go to game install and updates and then scan for games, it would actually show up here like this, as you can see World of Warcraft beta. And then once you've done that, just make sure you um, close up your bat on it again. I also forgot the state before. Make sure before you type that code into your command prompt that everything everything to do with bat on it is, is exited out or it won't work. So just exit. I'm going to make sure it's closed here. It is. And then you'll literally just do the same thing again. You'll put the code in. And then what will happen is, once you've done that, it'll actually start installing the beta. And that's it. You then have access to the um, actual beta files and folders. It'll show it like this. It'll start downloading it like this. The reason why it's stating this is because I'm trying to do, once again, the, um, the download when I already have to download. This won't show up for you guys. Added to this, you may have saw before, when I first entered into my bat on it app, you would have saw this spinning thing here. However, that won't show up for you either. It's just because I'm trying to reinstall the client when I already have the client. It's just bugging out. Simple as that really. Okay, so now you actually have the beta downloaded after waiting how many so hours or whatever to actually have it on your computer. So now what do you do? You'll go to this URL here, and once again, Put it into your search bar and then go to it. You'll then just click on this and then you just save it anywhere you want. So I'm just going to save it on my desktop. You'll then download some sort of application. I'm not exactly sure why it is, but I just know it launches up the installer for the sandbox items. Double click on it. And it'll come up with this menu here and you just wait. Mine did that pretty quick, so now I can download it. Now I will just wait. 
It'll take a short while to download, not sure why. For me it took around a minute, but hey, whatever. Um, it'll then make a folder, once this is done downloading, with the things you need. It'll have something called the Actium Wild BFA Sandbox and the Actium Wild BFA Climate Launcher. And the other thing you do is, you go to your Wild Beta folder. I actually moved mine from Program Files Times 86 to my E drive. So I'll go to my beta here, open it up, and then I will drag the Actium Wild BFA Client Launcher into here. So now it's in there. Then just click on the Actium Wild BFA Sandbox. You can keep this here, or you just can put it anywhere you want. I'm just going to keep it in here. So I'll double click on it, and it'll actually start up the um, this sort of script, which will start up the Sandbox Fire. Then it's going to be up and running. And then what you do is, you just will click on the Axiom Wild BFA Client Launcher. And then that's it, you're going to be in. Yay, you're in! Woo! So to log in, it's Axiom at Axiom. And the password is Axiom. See? So then we can get in like this. And I'm just going to make myself a mega orc bank So there you go guys, you're in. Amazing. If you want the commands on how to actually use the sandbox, there's a readme in that folder you installed before with the um, two Arctium applications. So yeah, that's it guys. I will see you later. Apparently web does not want to work, okay. All credit goes to the Actium team for making this sandbox. Thank you very much for watching.